Hi, this is uh, Steve. I sell instrument clusters on eBay under the name Jasper SK. And I wanted today to show you uh, how to change instru instrument cluster. I get uh, several buyers who said they've taken the cluster to mechanic and spent a lot of money to get it installed. This is a really easy job, so I thought I'd just show how to do it. You really only need two tools, flat blade, screwdriver, and a Phillip head. So, uh, and it shouldn't take us very long, so here we go. There's really just two little panels that need to come out. Uh, first one is right here. So this one, just take your flatbed screwdriver. Mine's come out a lot of times, so it comes out a little bit easier than most of them. But pry that off. Once that's to the side, you don't have to disconnect those um, wires. Here's the only tricky part of the whole job. What you need to do is inside of here, there's a little tab right here on the headlight switch. You can kind of see it where I'm pushing my screwdriver in. You push that tab in, and then when you push that tab in, the light switch just pulls right out. So once that light switch comes out like that, now you have access to the first bolt you pull out. There's only four bolts that come out, Phillips head screwdriver. This is uh, to take off the instrument bezel. All right, so we got screw number one out, put that to the side. Then with your flat blade screwdriver, another panel over on the right hand side, you just simply go in here, pop that off, and same thing, another little screw right over here. That needs to come out on the right side inside the instrument bezel. All right, uh, once those two screws are out, um, here's a really important part. Uh, let's show over here. See this, uh, if you look at the Bentley manual, it says to remove this instrument cowl. Do not ever remove this cowl. Um, the two screws that are on the bottom, 90% of the people that when they put this back together and they try to screw in those screws, or sometimes even you know, when they unscrew them, they break, and this will be broken. When I, when I take uh, clusters out of junkyards, 90% of the cars I have don't have this piece around the steering wheel because it's broken. So don't take that off, even though the repair manual does. Just simply put your steering wheel all the way down, and that's all you need to do. So once these two screws are out, this instrument bezel pops out. Sometimes it's a little tricky. You gotta give it a little fork, but you pop it out, put it to the side. Once that's to the side, you have two screws for the cluster itself, one on each side. So we'll take those out, one on the right side, one on the left side. <clears throat> screw number one out. And screw number four out. It's on the other side here. Make sure you hang on to those real tight, otherwise uh, sometimes they'll drop in and you got to go get them. All right, once the, you have the screws out, now you're pretty much uh, done and ready to take a cluster out. What you want to do is tilt it forward just a little bit like that, just pull it out of its snaps. There's still snaps on the bottom. Push it over to the, kind of tilt it to the side like this. It's a little bit of a trick to get it up and over uh, on the right hand side, but you just like that. Now it's ready to come out. You slide it to the right like this. Now it's the cluster sitting like that. There's two wires in the back. You simply just reach back there and pull each of those out. One and then two. And then when you get to this spot, the trick is you want to have it just to the side, kind of like that, and then slide it right out to that. And there you go. Clusters out. It's that simple. A couple of quick other notes here before we go. Um, when you install a new cluster, plug it in and turn it on before you do anything else, and then check to make sure you have lights. If you don't have lights, these top two are the lights that light up the entire cluster, and so everything that you can see is there. Uh, there's two little bulbs, one right here and one right here, that are for your uh, mileage and uh, your clock. And then there's all of these light bulbs, which are your indicators. Now you notice there's a bunch missing. Don't let that worry you. Um, they only put light bulbs in the actual uh, options that you have. And so ben, depending on which cluster you have will depend on which lights you have. And then finally, here's the number of the cluster you have. And so when you go and buy a replacement one, it's real important to try and have the exact same number. All of these clusters will work in all of the third generation Jetta Golfs um, and Cabrios. However, uh, there are very small differences in terms of which indicator lights they have based on what options you have, whether you have an airbag um, or how the fuel uh, 
or whether you have uh, an empty fuel tank light. And so uh, make, getting sure that you have that right tag number will show you that you have the right thing there. After that, you just put in your new one, kind of the opposite that you did taking it out. And um, it's that easy. If you've got any questions, by all means, uh, email me. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And good luck. Thanks.